All right, hope you're all doing wonderful today. Today, what you got in store has got something a little bit different. Today, I'm going to be sitting down with you all, sorting through a bunch of cards, and putting together a nice little fun deck. And today, I'm going to be making a zombie deck. I've never made a video like this before. I have had suggestions for it in the past, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to just check out some cards, go through them, talk about them, and just put together a fun little deck. So I'm not sure what we're going to come up with at the end of it, but hopefully a cool zombie deck. Anyways, in front of me, I just have a whole bunch of assortment of cards. Uh, I don't know what format this is going to fit into other than like maybe Vintage or Legacy, just because it has cards from all over the history of Magic the Gathering, not like Modern or Standard. You can see it's like a Scorch card up top and like Rise from Eldrazi, just random ones, Mirage Land. Anyways, a uh, big stack right here, a bunch of just zombie cards that I have. This is a smaller stack of zombie cards as well, mostly rares and a couple foils on top. Over here, some like spells, instant sorceries, enchantments, other things like that, artifacts that will just be used to help power up my zombies or removal, whatever I want. I do have a nice little pile of non-basic lands, a nice little pile of basic swamps, and then a small pile, or pretty large pile actually, of just zombie tokens, so that's what that is. So anyways, uh, usually when I start off with my decks, I usually like to make 60 card cast casual decks and uh, I usually like to start off with maybe like the mana base or something so uh, right here I have 24 basic lands usually in my decks I either like to have 24 basic lands maybe 22 23 25 depending on the mana curve I'm just going to stick with like 24 very basic so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so 24 basic lands right here and let's just go through my non-basic lands and see if I want to swap out any of these basic lands for some of the non-basics I have a peat bog it comes into play tapped with two depletion counters on it. You remove a depletion counter at two black mana your mana pool. Not too bad, but it kind of runs out fast when you say no to that. A Rogue's Passage. That's always a fun card. I always like this. It comes in and it doesn't come in tapped, so you can use it right away. It only produces colorless mana and has four tap target creatures unblockable this turn. So it can make the creatures unblockable. I'm just going to move the light a little bit. It's very shiny. There we go. So it can make your creature unblockable, so I think I might just put a, one of those in there. I do have two in case I'd like that. I have a Mortuary Mire. These are fun cards. Uh, enters the battlefield tapped. It does create black mana. When it enters the battlefield, put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Might as well. Uh, these these kind of hideaway lands, I'm not a huge fan of these ones. This comes into play, uh, comes into play tapped. It does create black mana. Um, when it comes into play, look at the top four cards of your library. Remove one from the game face down, then put the rest in the bottom of your library. And then you can pay one tap, uh, bl one black tap. You can play that remove card, but you have to have zero cards in your hand, so does your opponent. So it's kind of a steep casting cost. I'm not a huge fan of that. Got Everglades. It comes into play. You have to return a swamp to your owner's hand, to, and then it creates black and a colorless. Not a bad land, but not for this. Uh, Everglades, again, just a commander version. Bojuka Bog. I always like this one. Uh, comes into play tapped as black to your mana pool, and it can just remove graveyard. So thinking about putting that in there. Crypt of Agadim. Uh, this is a cool card. Especially with a zombie deck, you have might have a bunch of creatures in your graveyard. It comes to the battlefield tapped. It adds black to your mana pool. Two tap and black to your mana pool for, for each creature card in your graveyard. I'm thinking about putting that in here. Obviously, a zombie deck, an un unholy grotto, the ultimate return zombie card from your graveyard to your library. Uh, obviously, I want this in there. Cathedral of War. I do have three of these. Um, these are really great. It's an exalted card. If a creature attacks alone, it gets plus one, plus one. An exalted will stack. So if you have three of these, they each get plus three, plus three. But um, I'm going to say no, because hopefully I'm not going to just be pinging away with one person. Maybe I'll put those in there. I'm not sure. I got Dunes of the Dead. Uh, adds colors to mana pool. When it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. That's cool. It makes zombies, but I'm not expecting to put these in my graveyard for whatever reason. Uh, Cradle of the Accursed. Uh, da, 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 three tap, sacrifice it. Create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. Activate this ability. In time, you can cast a sorcery. That's kind of cool. You can use it to make a zombie token, but you also got to sacrifice it, and it only makes colorless mana. So that's a possibly. Uh, the Void. Scry Lands. Uh, Grasping Dunes is kind of like Sand Pit. The Cavern. You can play it as a morph. Not really going to do that. Quick Sand. You got Mistress Factory. That's kind of cool. Oh, I guess I have more Rogue's Passages. A uh, Sequandered Stash. Sequestered stash. Not in this one. Alright, so these are probably the lands that I'm looking to keep. Actually, Cradle of the Accursed. I'll put one in there. <laughs> Why not? Let's just put one in there. So, I want to take some lands and swap them. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, let's take out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and we should be at 24 lands again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 lands, including the non-basics. So this is going to be my lands for the deck right here. And if I notice I'm playing the game and I need to have more mana in my hand, I might go to 25 lands, 26 lands, if, if needed be, and then swap out for zombie cards or something like that. But right now, this is my mana base. Bunch of basic swamps and Cradle of the Cursed, Unholy Grotto, great card right there. Absolutely fantastic. Crypt of Agadim, great as well. Bajuka Bog, just great for graveyard removal. Graveyard hate, Mortuary Mire, just a little bit of extra get a creature back from your grave if you want. And Rogue's Passage, just because it's a fun land that if you need to get damage through, this can help help achieve that. Cool art as well. He's going through like the staircase in the wall. Very cool. So this is going to be my lands right here. And then I guess let's go into the creature section. I have a whole bunch of creatures that we're going to be going through. I'm not going to be stopping on all of them, but I'm going to be at least looking at them. And a bunch of play sets and stuff. Um, so yeah, Vengeful Dead. Uh, zombies put into your graveyard. Each opponent loses one life. This could be real annoying, especially if I have some sort of sacrifice sort of deck. So that's a possible inclusion. I'm going to have like a card pile of including, possible including, and not including. Fear, gluttonous zombie. No, I'm not going to include that. Comes into play, search your life for a creature card, put in your graveyard. No. Haunted ghoul, it can't block uh, humans. Zombie Druid, Quagmire Druid. Uh, this is a black card that can remove enchantments, but you got to have green mana. I'm not going to have any green mana. Zombie Boa. Not bad. Morning Zombie. Got to have white mana. No, no, thank you. Got Wobear. That's not too bad. Severed Legion. I would like this card. I actually have a cool foil version of this card where there's no mana symbols up there. It's like a Japanese version. I'll have to make a video on that. Comes to play. Sacrifice a creature. Not too bad. Uh, Cabal Interrogator. Got the Worm. It's got Scavenge. Got a couple of those. Dredgescape Zombie. It's got Unearth. It's a 2-1 for one and a black. Return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste. Exit the beginning of the end step. If you leave the battlefield. All right. I do like Unearth, but I don't like how you have to exile at the end of turn. I'd like to get creatures back from my graveyard and have them stay, so I'm not going to include that one. A zombie cat, but you got to add red mana. Swamp Walk, Sewer Shambler. It's got Scavenge. That's not too bad. Gray Merchant of a Apostle. Um, this card is fantastic. They actually reprinted this and then... Whatever the new set was, I can't remember it. Three and two black whenever it enters the battlefield. Each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion to black, and you gain X life, lost this way. So this is a very possible inclusion in there. Solus one, this is just a fun card. I thought I had multiple copies of this. Um, power and toughness are equal to the number of zombies in play, plus the number of zombie cards in all graveyards. You got five zombies in play, five in your graveyard. This thing's a 10-10. Thinking about including that. Walking corpse, just like skate zombies clone. Um, these ones actually... Shouldn't be in this pile. Let's set these over here. Mm, a Martyring Bone Slasher. Mm, not that one. It's got the pet, the zombie ape with lifelink. It's got lifelink and you can play for its morph. It's a 1-4. Mm, not feeling it so well. Dead Reveler, like the orange in the background. It's got Unleashed. It's a 2-3. You may have this creature enter the battle with the 1-1 counter on it. It can become a 3-4, but it can't block. A 3-4 three, for four, 3, but it can't block. That could be annoying. Mmm... No, I don't think so. Got Megamorph, got a Marsh Hulk. It's a big old creature, uh, six mana, a little too expensive. Carrion Feeder. This is possible. I might make a deck that is based on sacrificing zombies. Sacrifice a creature, put a 1-1 contra on it, so this thing can just get bigger and bigger. It can't block, though. Kind of annoying. I'll put this in the possible pile. Nightscape Familiar. Blue spells and red spells you cast. Cost one less to cast. So it's a cool card, but... Uh, not going to be putting that any other colors in here. Necromancer's Assistant. When it's just a battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. That's cool. Um, but most of the cards, I like to play decks where I like to play for my hand sometimes. Uh, so probably not that. I always like this card. It's fun. Uh, seven mana, though, for a six and a black for a five, four with Amplify one. So when it enters the battlefield, you show cards in your hand if you have zombies. If you show four zombies, it comes in the battlefield with uh, four counters on it, so it can be pretty big, but it's really expensive. Another walking corpse. This is pretty much actually. It's like a uh, scase zombies. Where's the other walking corpse? There we go. Whatever reason he got lost from his pack. Got gnawing zombie sacrifice. A creature target player loses one life and you gain a life. I do like carry on feeders sacrifice outlet better because you don't have to pay anything. It's just. 
Go for it. Sacrifice it. So I got a couple of those. Return centaur into the battlefield. Target player puts the top four cards of your library in your graveyard. They'll get rid of your opponent's uh, library or your own. When it leaves the battlefield, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. It has unearthed. Six mana for a 4-4. Four, four. That creates a 2-2 two, two as well. Mm, I'll put one maybe in the pile. Maybe it'd be fun to have something like that. There's going to be a whole bunch of cards that we have to go through all our, after all this. Got the unhollowed. Whenever a creature going to die, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Possible. Uh, for whatever reason, 5. If I am going to do a sacrifice deck, um, this thing will just get huge. So, maybe. Twisted Abomination. This card is, is a cool card. 6 mana for 5-3 that you can regenerate. It has Swamp Cycling, so you can discard this card and search for a Swamp. That's a cool card. Um... And it's annoying because of the regeneration. I've definitely lost games to this for my brothers, I believe, in the past. I don't know. It might be fun to include something like that. Shambling Goblin. When it dies, target a uh, creature and opponent controls. You get negative one, negative one. Makes you think of uh, another one. Got Slitherhead. Cool looking black green. I like these multicolor costs right here. It's got Scavenger. It's a 1-1. One, one. So you can scavenge it from a graveyard, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature. Kind of cool. Got Greybane Zombie. Love this from Mirage. If it's put into a grave from play, uh, put it on top of its owner's library. So it's a four cost, a three, two that you can just keep coming back from your library. The Emissary. If it dies, you manifest the top card of your library. But manifesting stinks. I think you can only turn it face up if it's a creature card. So if you manifest something that's not a creature, you're you're stuck. Uh, the Turtle Shell. This is a three, uh, four mana for one six. It's kind of cool. Put one there. Maybe you could have like a nice little body creature. Got the River Trawler. Two and a black. Two, two. Enters the battlefield. Return target enchantment card from grave to your hand. I don't know if I'm going to have much enchantments in here. And it has a white ability. No, I'll just scrap that. I got Grave Digger. This is a classic card right here. Comes into play. Return target creature card from grave to your hand. Four mana for that though. I'd rather include a Raised Dead or something. Got Gem Palm Polluter. Uh, great card. When a... When you cycle it, you may have target player lose one life for each zombie in play. Uh, most of the time, when you have this in your zombie deck, you're going to cycle it. I only have three of them, I believe. I thought I had four. I'll include them in this possible pile. So far, I don't have any for sure. Just a bunch of possibles. I might only have two piles right now. Possible? and yeah, no. You got the zombie crocodile. It's got defender and with a green ability. Noxious ghoul. This card is uh, fantastic. Three and two black. It's expensive, five to put out for a three-three. But this is the kicker: when Oxy School or another's not another zombie comes into play, all non-zombie creatures get negative one, negative one till end of turn. Obviously, this is a zombie deck, so all your creatures are going to be giving it ne- giving creatures negative one, negative one. So that's a great card. And if I'm, yeah, that's a really great card. Citrus Supply. This is a great uh, common card, uncommon card, but this really fills up your graveyard. So pretty much, it gives you three, six cards. When it comes in, you put three. Cards from your library to your graveyard. When it dies, with three cards from your library to your graveyard. Really cool, great card, but I'm not really looking to fill up my graveyard. Got Undead Servant. Into the battlefield. This is kind of cool. Um, for each of these in your graveyard, it creates a 2-2 black zombie when it comes into play. So you got three in your graveyard. You play this one. You, it comes into play as a 3-2 with three 2-2 zombies. But if you're going to use it, you pretty much want to have all four. And I'm not sure about that. You got the Muck Draggers. It's got Delve. <laughs> for a 9 mana with Delve uh, I'm going to set this here let's see what else we got okay uh, Infectious Horror uh, attack each opponent loses 2 life this can just keep pinging away at them that might be fun put 2 in that pile for a reason I had 5 of those so I only want 4 play sets got the Ice Breakers enters the battlefield each player discards a card I don't want to have to discard a card myself. Uh, a Cursed Horde. This is a cool card. You can give a target uh, attacking zombie against indestructibility on their turn. It's a 3 3 for 4 mana. I'll put 1 there. Maybe that'll be fun. Gurmag Angler. This is a great card. It uses Delve. It's a 5 5 for 7 mana. But you can pretty much play it for 1 black mana if you di- uh, remove 6 cards from your graveyard. It's a very powerful. Um, maybe. Put 1 there. Got Flesh Bag Martyrer. Two in a, a black. Enters the battlefield. Each player sacrifices a creature. This can be great removal. I'll put two right there. You have to see either set you have to sacrifice a creature too, though. But if I'm doing a sacrifice deck. 
put three for now. Uh, Lord of the Accursed. This one might be a for sure inclusion. It's uh, uncommon for three mana. It's a two, three. All their zombies you control get plus one, plus one. All zombies gain mana until next turn. I'm going to put these three in the yes pile. I'm at least going to put two in my deck. Got Lurching Rot Beast. Got Cycling. It's a four, two. Zombie Goliath. Just a 4-3 for 5 mana. And it does. Similar Butcher. Crazy looking art. It's got Exploit. Nah, not that one. Got Minotaur Abomination. Not too much. Bolduvian Dead. Oh yeah, it's got 2 and a red ability. You can create 3-1 black red creatures. Uh, you pretty much can play... It makes 3-1 three, three black and red creatures that can attack... And then they die at the end of turn. Kind of cool, but I'm not going to include red in this deck. But really cool card from Alliances. Got Moaning Wall. Defender. Three mana for Defender. It's got no toughness, though. Okay. Got this Nightfire Giant. Cool card right here. Um, but you got to pay uh, four and a red for its ability. And I don't have that. Skate Zombies. Uh, maybe Skate Zombies just because it's classic. Strange to see that art. I don't know where my other Skate, skate Zombies are. I feel like they're in a folder. Zombie Scavengers, remove the top card in your graveyard from the game to regenerate. Mm, I don't want to. Roofstucker, give it flying. Hound of Farbogs, got Delirium. Innistrad, when it dies, destroy target land. That could be fun. I feel like that'd be that'd be fun. So you sacrifice it, make your opponent get rid of a land. It is five mana, put it out. It's a 3-3. Three, three. I don't know. Toxic Nim, it's got Infect and Regenerate. 4-1 for six mana. No. Discard two cards. Uh, you can recur it, but you got to get rid of two cards. It's kind of steep. Uh, you may have target creature negative two. Nope. This is a cool card. Uh, Lilian is elite. Two and a black. Gets plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. It's possible inclusion. When it dies, target player discards a card. Move target card in the graveyard from the game. This is some graveyard hate. Withered wretch. Cool art, by the way, from Legions, but no, not that one. Let's see what we got. Got us. Uh, Skin Render. Hmm. Okay. Undead Minotaur. Lil Dumb's Cohort. One and two blacks. Two, three. Uh, but, but, uh, can't regenerate if it blocks. We got the Diagraph Ghoul. This is very strong inclusion. I actually have six of those. I don't know why. Festering Goblin. By the way, it's just a one drop for a 2 2 zombie that comes into the tap. But it's a one black for a 2 2. Okay. So great. Festering Goblin. I like that card, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of cards that kind of thin down for sure. Rotting Mastodon. A lot of these are probably not even going to make the cut. Got Cursed Minotaur. It's got Menace. That's kind of cool. I feel like this card can be real annoying. I feel like this could be real annoying. Just cards with Menace in general. Especially if you give it like Death Touch or something. It can just be real annoying. Uh, da, da. Enters the battlefield. Each player discards a card. I don't want to discard one myself. Inspired. Regenerate. It's a 1-3. The nah. null. Sacrifice another creature. Put two counters on it. That's kind of cool, but I like uh, Carrion Feeder's Sacrifice Outlet better. It's got Swamp Walks. 2-2. Two, two. Crackling Fiend. Creepy looking art. Brine Dips Pain. Wheeling Ghoul. No, I'm not feeling that. It's got Flicked. Merciless Eternal. Discard a card. Give plus two, plus two. I don't like to discard a card. Zombie Hound's got Delirium. It's a three, two. I can become a four, three with your Delirium. With Menace. That's kind of cool, but... I don't know. Haunted Dead. This is a cool card. Um, I like how it comes into the battlefield with a flyer. It's a three and a black. And it comes in with the spirit. When Haunted Dead enters the battlefield, put a one, one white spirit creature token flying on the battlefield. And you can return it from your graveyard. Uh, one in a black, discard two cards. Return it from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So you got to discard cards, but it is cool. It's a 2-2 two, two zombie that comes in with a 1-1 one, one, uh, spirit with flying. Really cool. Really cool, but um, no. Not not in this one. What do we got over here? We got Festering Mummy. When it dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. That's kind of cool. There's, there's like three zombies that do that. Got the different printing of this one. What is this? Uh, Farbog a Bone Flinger. Enters the battlefield. Creature gets negative 2, negative 2. This is cool. The Nantucko Husk. Again, a nice little sacrifice outlet. But I like the Carrion Feeders better because it 
keeps the counter, but it can't block, so the Nintendo Husk could be really great as well. Uh, I'll put that in the possible pile. This two-headed zombie, annoying, has got Menace. Two hands, you gotta block each of them. Shambling Attendance, I think we saw that one earlier, actually. Yeah. I think I have four cop uh, eight copies of those. Grudge Keeper, whenever... Uh, this is for voting, eh? It's like that Monarch stuff, not gonna be that kind of deck. Rancid Rats got Skulk, Death Touch. I feel like this. These could be real annoying. <laughs> got Carrion Crow. Enters the battlefield tapped. It's got Flying. Not too bad. Possibly include a Flyers. Because there's not too many Flying Zombies. Uh, enters the battlefield or dies. Put that question. No, not this one. Ooh, what about this? You got Carrion Screecher. Three in a black with the Flying. It's a 3 1. Mm. I kind of like Carrion Crow a little bit better. This guy he can attack if it didn't defend it. Big one in a blue. Got the bat. Okay, this guy doesn't enter tapped. Uh, he's a 2 1 that can be given haste. And a 2 2 that enters tapped. I'm going to go with the crow still. And the crow has a better feel of zombies. Got the host. When it enters the battlefield, each player puts the top three cards of his or library into his graveyard. Not looking for that. The zombie camel, if it dies, if you control a desert, target player discards a card. I don't have any deserts. Maybe one. A shambling ghoul enters the battlefield tapped. Pretty much like skate zombies. Right of precinct six. Um, gets plus one plus for each creature card in your opponent's graveyard. That could be powerful, especially if you put this with like a something. I, I, I could see those in there. Sacrifice a creature, gets plus two plus two till end of turn. This is very similar to um, Nanteco Husk. What is the difference? Let's just see. Maybe it's just a flavor thing. Pyrexian Ghoul, sacrifice a creature, give it plus two plus two. Nanteco Husk, sacrifice a creature, give it plus two plus two till end of turn. Both three drop for a two two. Which one has better flavor? I like this one. It looks way cooler. So, this is the, the winner by default. Alright, so right now, this is the pile of um, not putting in my deck. This is possibility in possible inclusion. This is pretty much going to include these. I'm not sure if I'm going to include all three of them, though. So, I'm going to get rid of this pile. Just set it in the back. And let's go through the rest of these creatures I have. These are mostly the rare cards. And uh, just a couple foils on top. Uh, Escape Null. Blocks are becomes block. Is it plus five plus zero until end of turn? It's got life link. That's kind of crazy. That might be fun to throw in there. Toxic names got infect. This guy again. The guardian. Dun, 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 whatever. Another enchantment at his battlefield. Not gonna be playing enchantments. Fear dross prowler. Very cool. This guy's uh, four and a black for four one. Can't block when a swamp enters the battlefield under control. You may return it. From a graveyard to your hand, so it can, can keep recurring. Got the Jailer. One in a black. Cards in graveyard lose all abilities. It's a 2-1. Little graveyard hate. Uh, looks like I have uh, Planeswalker right here. Liliana's Death uh, Majesty. I don't know if I'm going to include a Planeswalker in this one. Probably not, but this is, I think, my only zombie-related one. I think I had to have the baby Liliana somewhere in a folder. 3 and 2 black. It comes in 5 loyalty. You create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Put the top two, uh, two cards of your library into your graveyard. Uh, negative 3. Target creature. Card from your graveyard uh, to the battlefield. The creature is black zombie. There's another type. Okay. Destroy all non-zombie creatures. I don't know if I want to put that in there. I'm just going to sit there here. Uh, great card, but I am actually don't have blue in this deck. Zombie Masters. Uh, all zombies gain Swamp Walk and gain black to regenerate. Probably going to put one of those in there. Cemetery Reaper. Uh, one and two black. Other zombie creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Okay, that is a definite inclusion. Lord of the Undead. Actually open this up on this channel somewhere. One and two black is a two, two. All zombies get plus one, plus one. One to black. Tap. Return target zombie card from graveyard to your hand. Oh, yes. Going in there. Grave Crawler. Uh, you may cast Grave Crawler from a graveyard as long as you control a zombie. It's a two, one for one black. Obviously, those got to go in there. Death Baron. Skeletons you control and other zombies you control get plus one plus one have death touch. It's a two two. Uh this is a great card. Probably gonna put at least two of those in there. Relentless Dead, great card as well. Mythic rare, two black for two two with menace. 
When it dies, you pay black. You return it to its owner's hand. When it dies, you may pay X. If you do, return target zombie card to confirm max cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. So if this dies and you pay one black, this goes back to your hand. But you have also pay three black. If Death Baron's in your graveyard, bring that back to your hand. So this is just great recursion right there. Uh, Machaelis, the Unhallowed. Fantastic guy. Let's see if we can get this guy out there. Three and two, uh, three and three black, so six mana. Definitely got to have this in a mono black deck, pretty much at the three black cost. Intimidate. That's a five five. Whenever a human deals damage, you destroy it. Other non human creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have dying. Whenever a creature with undying dies, if it has no one one counter on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a one one counter on it. So your zombies, once they die, they come back with even stronger. Fantastic card right here. I do have two of those, so maybe at least one of those I'll put in there. I feel like this whole pile is almost going to go here. We'll see. I got Dread Wanderer. One black for 2-1. Enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, return it from grave to the battlefield. Active ability only any time. Uh, you can cast a sorcery only if you have one or fewer cards in hand. This is a great card, but hopefully I don't have one or fewer cards in hand. But late game, that could be really good. Maybe. Got Diagraph Colossus, two and a black, enters the battlefield with a one-one contract for each zombie card in your graveyard. Whenever you cast a zombie spell, put a two-two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield tap. So it pretty much doubles your zombies. I have two of those. Two of those are definitely going in there. Liliana's Reaver. Uh, this is a great card. Two and two black death touch. When it deals combat damage to your player, that player discards a card and put a two-two black zombie creature token on the battlefield. It's a four-three. Uh, probably gonna include one of those. Just gonna put them both there. Pyrexian uh, Delver, three and two black. When it comes to play, return target creature card from graveyard to play. You lose, like, evil to that converted card's mana cost is 3-2. Probably not include that one. Grave Spawn, Sovereigner, 4 and 2 black. Tap 5 untapped zombies you control. Put a target creature card from your graveyard into play under your control. This could be fun to have on the battlefield. That could be a lot of fun. Got Plague Bearer, 1 and a black. XX black, destroy target non-black creature with casting cost equal to X. That's kind of cool. Um... So if there's like a two mana cost creature, you have to pay five mana. Um, I don't know. That might be a little expensive. Graveyard Marshal, uh, two black, three two. Uh, exile a creature card from your graveyard. Create a two two tapped black creature. Okay, that can be cool. Some graveyard stuff. Let's just see. Got Crypt Breaker. Discard a card. Put a two two black zombie creature on the battlefield. Uh, that's kind of cool. But I don't want to be discarding cards, really. You got the Unbreathing Horde. Two and a black is a zero. Zero. Enters the battlefield with a woman counter on it for each zombie you control and each zombie card in your graveyard. Ah, uh, yes. Plague Belcher. Menace. Enters the battlefield with two encounters on it. Whenever a zombie control dies, each opponent loses one life. Okay. I think that would be good if I have a sacrifice sort of deck going on. Uh... The Lich uh, Artifacts, probably not going to have a whole lot of artifacts. Vengeful Pharaoh, Death Touch, whenever combat damage is dealt to you or Vengeful Pharaoh. A Planeswalker Control, Vengeful Pharaoh is your graveyard, destroy a target. That's kind of cool. Um, that could be annoying. <laughs> they mob 4 and 2 black into the battlefield with 5 1 1 counters on it. Whenever you cast a spell, remove a 1 1 counter on it. If you do, put a 2 2 black, black zombie creature token into play. Uh, not too much. The Pontiff of the Blyth of Blight. We got Extort. Uh, not going to include that one. And then what is it? we got a ghoul here. Four and three black trample. Enters the battlefield. Excel uh, any number of creature cards from your graveyard. That's cool. It can be the power of exiled creatures. But no, I'm not going to include that. What is this right here? This is... Um, so these are the cards that I'm... I have to thin these down. This is way, way too many creatures. We haven't even gone through the spells and stuff. So, so far, this is what the deck looks like. A pile of creatures that I have to thin down. My 24 lands with some six non-basic lands. And I actually do have a desert in there, just one. And then let's just go through some spells, some removal and stuff, and uh, go from there. Okay, let's see. For the reason these were like out of place. Oh, Minotaur, you actually can go over there. Eh, let's just go through it. Let's set these here. This is so far what I'm keeping. Make a little bit more. Let's clean up the background a bit. Yeah, big pile of zombies. Okay, what do we got going on right here? Got Deathwind. Target creature gets negative X, negative X till end of turn. 
I really like that card, but I like Tragic Slip just so much better. Got Shrivel. Uh, here's a, another Shrivel. All creatures get negative one, negative one till Infern. Not bad, but I don't want to really attack my creatures with that. Songs of the Damned. Uh, add Black Tear Maniple for each creature in your graveyard. This can be very powerful from Ice Sage. Interrupt or an instant speed, but probably not. Raise Dead. Um, maybe. Two of those. Zombify. Return target or creature. A card from your graveyard to play. Four mana. Return a creature to play. Um, possible. Pestilence. This can be very frustrating. Two and two black. Uh, pay black. Deal one damage to everything. Uh, but once everything's gone, all creatures are gone, you have to bury this. But you hurt yourself too. Heroes Downfall. I do have two of those. Those are probably going to be included in there. Uh, Jet Medallion. Um, black spells you ca cost. You cast cost one less to cast. So, uh, yes. <laughs> Door of Destinies, I checked out this one in a previous video. Four mana, enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. So obviously zombies, whenever you cast a spell of chosen type, put a charge counter on Door of Destinies. So, uh, yep, yeah, you put a charge counter whenever you cast a zombie. Creatures you control of chosen type, get plus one, plus one for each charge counter on it. So they're just overall great. Grave Pack, I love this card. Whenever any creature you control is put into uh, any graveyard, each other player sacrifices a creature. If I might have a sacrifice sort of deck, whenever I sacrifice a creature, they have to get one too. Just really be annoying. Bad Moon. I do have two Bad Moons. Black creatures get plus one, plus one. It's only two mana. Probably going to include something like that. Dark Prophecy, three mana. Whenever a creature you control dies, you draw a card and lose a life. Um, That could be cool. With um, like a sacrifice sort of deck, possibly. Haunting Echoes, 3 and 2 black. XL are cards from target player's graveyard other than basic land cards. For each of those cards, actually, this way, search that player's live for all cards with the same name as those cards. XL them. Okay, so pretty much clear their graveyard of all those cards with the same names. Life's Finale, destroy all creatures and search target opponent's library for up to three creature cards, put them into his or her graveyard, then uh, that player shuffles his or her library. I don't want to create, kill my own creatures, though. Ghastly Conscription. Exile creature cards from target player's graveyard and a face-down pile. Shuffle them. Manifest those cards. It's kind of cool. Predator's Grass. Birch target opponent's library for a card. Exile that face-down. Then that player shuffles to their library. You may look at the play of the card as long as it remains exiled. That's kind of cool, but you got to hope it's your mana color. Hex. Four and two black. Destroy six target creatures, so you got to have six creatures on the field. Uh... Very specific. Consuming Vapors, target player, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to the creature's toughness and rebound. That's kind of cool. Hmm. No, I'm not thinking. Ingrox Wake. Seven and two black. Wow, expensive. Nine mana. Destroy all creatures you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. That would be fun, maybe. Just include that. Just a big old slap. Grave Betrayal, 5 and 2 black. Whenever a creature you don't control dies, return to the battlefield under your control with additional 1-1 one -one counter on it at the beginning of the next end step. Oh man, this. If I make a sacrifice deck and they have to, like, <laughs> that's, yes. 2 slaughter, 2 and a black. Target player sacrifice a creature planeswalker. There are 4 or more cards types among your graveyard. Instead, the player sacrifices a creature and a planeswalker. That's kind of cool. Uh, Lashwire, living artifact sort of thing, living weapon. A creep creature gets plus one, plus one for each swamp you control. That's cool. Um, probably not. Profane Command. X and two black. Target player loses X life. Return target creature card of command and cost X from grave to the battlefield. Target creature gets negative X, negative X. Target creature gains fear and... Oh, uh, okay. A lot of value from it. Maybe. Necromantic Selection. Four and three black. Destroy all creatures and return a creature card from... In put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield under your control. It is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Exile it. So I'll wipe the board and get one back. Empty the pits. X, X, black, 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 black. Uh, delve. Put X, 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens on the battlefield. Tapped. And you can remove cards from your graveyard. Just really fill it up. Uh, it's very expensive, though. Undercity Plague. Target opponent loses one life. Discards a card and sacrifices a permanent. So they can even sacrifice a land. Cypher, Torment of Hailfire. X and two black. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. That's a fun one. Dance of the Dead from Ice Age 1 and a black. Take target creature from any graveyard and put it directly into play under control. Tapped with a 1-1 one -one counter. Treat that creature as though it were just summoned. That creature does not untap during its controller's untap phase. At the end of his or her upkeep, the controller pays an additional 1 and a black to untap it. 
If Dance of the Dead is removed, buried a uh, creature in owner's graveyard. So pretty much like any card uh, creature and bring it back to life under your control for one in a black mana. And then you gotta pay one in a black to use it. Um, I'm hopefully gonna be sticking to my own creatures. Dark Ritual, classic, one black to add three to your mana pool. Possibly I'll include that. The Plague, uh, the, the play on non wall creatures. Feast or Famine, not that one. Man, there's gonna be a lot of cards to sort down. What do we got here? We got a spell book. Skip your discard phase. No. Unearth. A uh, good card. Whip of Erebos. Two and two black. Give your creatures lifelink. And you can kind of flash back a creature. That would be kind of fun though. Dark Salvation. Target player puts X two two black zombie creature open to the battlefield. Then up to one target creature gets negative one negative one till in turn for each zombie that player controls. So you can make a whole bunch of zombies. Maybe Bantu's Last Reckoning. One and three. I wanted to black, destroy all creatures, lands you control, don't untap during your next untap step. I don't want to destroy my own. Call to grave, the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a non-zombie creature. The beginning of the end step, if no creature on the battlefield, sacrifice it. Um, yes. Graph Harvest. This is a great, um, for zombies. One black, zombie creatures control a menace. Three and a black, exile a creature card from a graveyard, put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. So you can use it to make zombie tokens and give your zombies menace for one mana. Not too bad. Tragic Slip, one of my favorite removal spells. Obviously, going to have those in there. Swallowing Plague. Uh, Clutch of Undead, Diabolic Edict, target player sacrifices a creature. Not bad. Another Zombify, Cruel Edict. It's like Diabolic Edict. Fatal Blow, bury target creature that was damaged this turn for one black mana. Tragic Slip is better, I would say. Sanguine Blood. 3 and 2 black whenever you gain life. Target opponent loses that much life. Great card, for, especially for a life gain deck or something. Victimize. Let's put the read the bones here. Um, this is a great card. 2 and a black. Choose 2 target creature cards in your graveyard. Sacrifice a creature. If you do, return those. Return the chosen cards to the battlefield taps. Possibly. Uh, read the bones. Scry 2. Draw 2 cards. You lose 2 life. Not bad. Some card draw, but no. Uh, stir the Sands, 4 and 2 black, create 3, 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens, cycling, whenever you cycle it, create a black zombie creature. Okay. No, not that one. Torment of Scarabs. A bone Splinters, 1 black, is this into cost? Uh, sacrifice a creature, destroy target creature. If I do decide to do, like, um, sacrifice deck, that would be great for it. Bone Splinters again. A blood Divination. Draw three cards, return target. Nope. Do, do, do. Okay. All right. So, so far, we're doing pretty good. Looks like I've thinned down the piles quite a bit. Oh, wait. There's still this to go through. Vile Rebirth. Not an exile creature card from graveyard. Make a zombie. Da, da, da. No. We cover return target creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Draw a card. Creature tokens, get negative two, negative two. That would just hurt me real bad. Graph Harvest, actually did that. Read the Bones again. Got a couple more of those. A quest for Gravelord. Uh, when a creature dies, put a counter on it. Remove three counters and sacrifice it. Create a five, five black zombie giant creature token. It's kind of cool. If I am sacrificing a lot of creatures, that will make it... Make a big zombie real quick. Possibly. Creatures opponent call, get negative one, negative one. Alters Reap. Put... Three negative one counters a target creature. Controller loses three life. Or he or she sacrifices an online, online permanent or discards a card. Not bad. Okay, so now we have made some, some headway. We have the lands. For sure the lands are set. Now we have to go through the creatures and then these spells and stuff. So, yes. I want to have 60 cards total. And uh, we'll kind of figure out the breakdown of creatures and spells at the end of it. Yes. Okay, let's try to get this pile down to like around like 30 or something. I have 36 cards to play with if this is 24 lands. So 60 minus 24 is 36. So somehow I have to get 36 cards out of these two piles right here. A lot of skimming down to do. Let's just kind of go over it. Ventral Feral. Um, probably not. Uh, enters the battlefield, but... Whenever another zombie you control dies, each opponent loses one life. That seems pretty good. The horde is annoying. The graveyard marshal can help make him. That's possible. Du, du, du. Mm, I'm going to say no to that one. Liliana's Reader, let's include one of those. Diagraph Colossus, but two of those in there. A Dread Wanderer, possible. 
Macalis, The Unhallowed. Let's throw one of those in there. Uh, Relentless Dead, two drop. Can't go wrong with two of those. Death Baron. I'm thinking two, maybe three. Gravecrawler, put two. One, one. Let's put one master in there. Lord of the Accursed, let's put at least two. Escape, no. Lifelink. Become, when it blocks, you become blocks. It's plus five, plus zero till end of turn. Probably not. Uh, Pyrexian Ghoul. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, if I do want to do a sacrifice deck, let's just see. Let's just set these in the maybe pile. Uh, write a precinct six. Uh, plus one, plus one for each card. Each creature in your opponent's graveyard. This could be powerful. Um, Maybe two. Uh, Carrion Crow. A Flying Crow. Uh, let's throw two in there. Let's see. Rancid Rats. I feel like these could be quite annoying. Skulk and Death Touch. Maybe three. Cursed Minotaur. Mm, I don't know about that. We'll see. There's a lot of cards to go through. Diagraph Ghoul. Maybe a play set. Liliana's Elite. Plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. I like the other one better. Polluted Dead. I'm going to die. Destroy land. Uh, Skate Zombies. Maybe. Fleshbag Martyrer. Comes into play. Each player sacrifices a creature. Mm, I'm going to say maybe one. A Gurmag Angler. Probably not. Cursed Horde. Probably not. This guy. I don't think so. Noxious Ghoul. I feel like that'd be annoying. Gem Palm. Maybe two. Wandering Tome Shell. Just a big creature. Abomination. No. No. Whenever another creature control dies, put a 1 1 counter on it. This can get real big. Maybe two of those. When it leaves the battlefield, create a 2 2 token. No. Carrion Feeder. Probably those. Merchant of Grey Apostles. Let's throw one of those in there. Vengeful Dead. Yeah, it could be cool. Soulless one. All right, what what do we do? We get down a lot. What are we at? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So still way too many cards. Um, let's try to get it down a bit more soulless one uh, power and toughness equal to the number of zombies plus zombies in our graveyard of course it's got to go in there this one will be good a great merchant of apostle i don't necessarily need that one in there it's a great card but i don't necessarily need it the carry on feeder maybe i just need three of those or maybe if that's gonna be a key far to my deck i might need four of them the unhallowed gem palm polluter um, maybe just one of those. Just something kind of fun. The Noxious Ghoul. Yeah, I'm feeling two of those. Fleshback Martyr. Don't really need that. Diagraph. Let's put three. Rancid Rats. Let's just put two. No, let's put three. I feel like they'd be annoying. The Crow. Yeah, two Crows. Yeah, two of those. Master, Reaper, Gravecrawler, Baron. Okay, yes. Okay, what are we at now? Let's just... See what we're at. I want to get around because I want to have room for some spells and stuff too. This isn't just going to be a creature deck. Let's just see. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Let's keep these together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So I have thirty-six right now. This makes sixty, but I need to fit in some spells and stuff. So let's. Let's go through some spells, and we'll have to swap out some spells for some of the creatures. And possibly, maybe even include some of these ones as well. I feel like maybe it makes sense to include another Death Baron or Lord of the Accursed. Uh, or maybe in the Dread Wanderer. Uh, we'll kind of get through that as we get through it. Quest for the Grave Lord? No. Okay, let's see. Victimize? That's a great card. Tragic Slip? Maybe a playset? So this is going to be hard. Uh, Graph Harvest? Maybe two? Call to the Graves, that's a great card. Uh, whip, don't really need the Whip. Dark Ritual, I'm going to say no. Torment of Hailfire is annoying. Great Betrayal, that could be fun. Grok's Wake, Dark Prophecy, Bad Moon, throw two of those, two of those, Destiny. Okay, let's <laughs> somehow, let's see if I can take all these ones if I'm in there. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. I think that's probably too many. 
So I do want for the removal. So Hero's Downfall is great removal. Um, Tragic Slip is also great removal. I will put three in here. Um, Grave Pact. I love that card. I want two of those. We'll throw in one Bad Moon. Grave Betrayal. Those will be great. Do I want to give my zombies menace? I'll just throw one of those in there. Actually, two could be real annoying. Uh, Jet Medallion. Yeah. And then Door to Destinies. Okay, what are we looking at now? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14. Let's see if I can somehow swap out some cards. The Gem Palm. Cycling. Uh, when I ghoul another zombie comes into play. So if I want to have a sacrifice sort of deck, let's see. It's going to use like a card like Carry On Feeder. And also, where's the other card that has a sacrifice outlet? Actually, maybe I won't have a sacrifice outlet. I'm going to not. Because a lot of these zombies in here, I don't want to sacrifice. I'm going to take these Carry On Feeders and put them over there. And then I'm going to, instead, swap them for some of this stuff. Okay, let's see. Lord of the Accursed. Where is the Death Baron? Okay, let's see what we got. I think we have 34 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9, 30. 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4. So 34. Uh, 34 plus 24 plus, I don't remember what that is. The Gem Palm. When another noxious ghoul, another zombie comes into play. All non-zombie creatures get plus one, plus one. Very good. Uh, since I'm not doing a sacrifice deck, I don't need the Vengeful Dead. Uh, there's also another card that would be for that. Let's kind of set these out. Make some room. Possibly going to include those ones in there. Got the Noxious Ghoul. The Soulless One. The Master. Lord of the Accursed. This guy. The Crow. Rancid Rats. I feel like this is a cool card. It's got Skulk. Death Touch. Maybe just two of those would be awesome. Diagraph Ghoul, three of those I have. Cemetery Reaper. It's hard to even fit these all on here. Okay. Let's see. Definitely want this. He gives other zombies plus one plus one. Same with this one. Grave Crawler is just great. Uh, Death Baron, obviously want those. Uh, Lord of the Accursed goes right with Death Baron. Uh, Relentless Dead, great for recursion. Macaulay, Sion Hollowed. Two Diagraph Ghouls. Uh, Lilian is a Reaver. Uh, this one, I'm going to say no to. Um, the Horde enters the battlefield. Plus one, plus one for each zombie you control and each zombie in your graveyard. It's only three mana. The Reaver is also pretty cool. Okay, what are we looking at now? We're finally starting to thin down these piles a bit. But there's still a lot left to go. The Zombie Master, this is one of my favorite cards. All zombies in play gain Swamp Walk and Black to regenerate. So give all your zombies a little bit of regeneration. And it's just classic card. These crows, I don't necessarily need. It would be cool to have flyers. It would be cool to have flyers. I'll just say that. Okay, let's let's just see what number I'm at right here. I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31. So I can have five, so far five of these. Let's see. Um, what five of these cards do I really want in there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right now I have my removal. My removal can fit in there. And I want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Possibly 9. Grave Pack. Whenever you control creatures, put in your graveyard. Each other player sacrifices a creature. Maybe we'll just put one Grave Pact in there. Let's just put one Grave Pact in there. Door of Destinies is a great card as well. Two of those. Maybe that. Yeah, I would like to fit all these in here. This one I don't necessarily need in there, but it's such a great card. The beginning, each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a non-zombie creature. Gem Medallion, possible non-inclusion. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Somehow I have to thin down 7 cards. The Ghoul. 
the polluter, ay ay ay, this is where it gets tough. The crow, the horde, Lucius, relentless, Lord of the accursed. Yeah, I feel like those cards, I need the ones with the, the plus one, plus one. Okay, let's just go this way. Um, I'm going to get rid of the polluter. So that means another card can come over here. I'm going to move this one here. It seems like a fun card. The Noxious Ghoul is annoying. Mm, the Soulless one. I feel like that's a cool card though. I'm going to actually take out these guys. These two ones right here. Put them there. And I'll take two cards. Let's give my zombies a menace. And this is just like a very kind of <laughs> strange way to make a deck. This is kind of just right here, right now. Just going with it. I would like to at least fit a couple more of those in here. Let's check out my mana cost, actually. Some of these... Are a bit expensive. Some of these are a bit expensive. That's such a great card. Kiss, Relentless Dead. Which one of these can I live without? I feel like Soulless One. Possibly these. I feel like this card is so good though. Let's just put one of those in there. Actually, two. Soulless One is out of there. Let's, let's put. Uh, Let's put a banner in there. Actually, Door to Destinies would be greater. Because it would only affect me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So, yeah, we're here. If I want to fit these three in here, uh, that'd be cool. There's just cards sprayed everywhere. Do I need a grave pack? Whenever a creature control is put into a graveyard, each opponent sacrifices, each other player sacrifices a creature. That's super frustrating. That's such a frustrating card. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I might only put one more of these. Which one do I like better? Some zombie removal. Actually, Great Pact, I think it's just better than this one. So this one will just go here. The banner don't need. Let's just find one more card to remove so I can put in the Great Pact. Like these crows, I don't necessarily need in there. But they are flying. And I feel like that would be real annoying. What card do I should I take out of here? Okay, there we go. I'm just taking out a diagraph. Cool. I don't know if this is a smart move, but the cards, they're telling me to do something. Okay, what do we got here? My great pack. Okay, so I think this is 60 cards right here. Let's just kind of see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 54, I believe that's 60 cards in here. So I believe this is my finalized sort of deck. Let's just kind of clean up a little bit. And I will set these in some sort of order. But anyways, that's like a very basic way that I kind of throw together decks. And obviously when I'm playing games, if I go like, oh, I wish I had more removal, I'll swap out something for more Tragic Slips or something like that. Or I said, oh, I'm not having enough creatures, I'll swap out some cards like Tragic Slip for like creatures like this. And you just kind of play and go with it and the deck evolves with time. I'm just going to set these in a sort of mana order. That makes sense. I think I have some one drop cards, two drops. Where's the other one drops I have? Let's just kind of look at it that way real quick. The creatures. Okay, you got the creatures, non-creatures. Got one manas, two manas. Two mana stuff. I think that's all the two mana. Then we got three mana stuff, a lot of three mana. Three mana. Machias is the biggest one probably. 
A lot of three mana. That's my most common mana drop. Okay, then let's rearrange my other spells in order. Probably this four, four. More expensive. Okay. So let's get a final look at this fun little casual Magic the Gathering 60 card zombie tribal deck. Okay, so uh, 24 lands in this deck. Um, I have six non-basic lands including in here, Cradle of the Accursed. You can sacrifice it, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token if you'd like. Unholy Grotto, great card, bring back zombies from your graveyard on top of your library. Crypt of Agadim, uh, creates black for each creature in your graveyard. Bojuka Bog, Graveyard Hate, Mortuary Mire, uh, pretty much get a creature back on top of your library. And Rogue's Passage, just get some damage through if need be. And the rest are just basic swamps, beautiful snow-covered swamp. And then let's just check out the spells and stuff, not the creatures. I have two Graph Harvest, one black enchantment. Zombies you control have Menace, just giving your zombies Menace. You can put this out on turn one even. Three and a black exile creature card from your graveyard. Put a 2-2 black zombie creature token into battlefield. So it can also give you some zombie tokens. I have two of these in here. I just think it'd be fun. Giving your zombies Menace would just be a little frustrating. I have three Tragic Slips. Uh, one black for an instant target creature gets negative one, negative one till end of turn, and has a morbid target creature gets negative thirteen, negative thirteen till end of turn. If a creature this turn, uh, if a creature died this turn instead, so very powerful. Two heroes downfall, one and two black uh, for a destroy target creature or planeswalker. I have a door of destinies four mana artifact. If Dwarf Destinies enters a battlefield, choose a creature type. Obviously, you're going to choose zombies in this case. Whenever you cast a spell of chosen type, put a charge counter on it. So if you cast two zombies, put two counters on it. Creatures control of chosen type get uh, plus one, plus one for each charge counter on it. So you get plus two, plus two at the time being. Grave Pack, just really a great card from Stronghold. One in three black. Whenever any creature control is put into a graveyard, each other player sacrifices a creature. If your creature dies, they have to sacrifice one too. And it gets around Hexproof because it's not targeting their creatures. They have to sacrifice it. Grave Betrayal. I just thought this would be really fun in here. Five and two black. Whenever a creature you don't control dies, return it to the battlefield under control with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. The beginning of the next step, that creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. So... If your opponent has a creature and it dies, you gain control of it and it's like your zombie. Pretty powerful. So that is all of like the spells and stuff I have. Now let's check out the creatures. Um, I have two grave crawlers. One drop for a two, a one creature. It can't block, but you can cast it from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. 99% of the time, you're going to be able to cast it right from your graveyard. I have two diagraph ghouls. One black for two, two. Enters the battlefield tapped. Nice little right there. Um, got two rancid rats, uh, one in a black. It's got Skulk and Death Touch. It's a 1-1 one, one zombie rat. It's got the Death Touch. Can't, it's just annoying. And Skulk, this creature can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So you can get some damage through two. Got two Relentless Deads. Two black man. It's got Menace. Can't be blocked because it by two or more creatures. When it dies, you can return it to your hand for one black. And when it dies, you can pay X to return a zombie with X mana cost from a graveyard to the battlefield. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Great card right there. I got two Karen Crow. We'll see about this. I just wanted a zombie with flying, and this this is the one I picked. Two and a black for a 2 2 flying into his battlefield tapped. Yeah, three mana for a flying zombie bird. A zombie master, a classic card right here. One and two black. All zombies in play gain Swamp Buck and Black to Regenerate for as long as this card remains in play. Uh, I think the official rules is uh, he can't give this to himself. Be cool if he could, but I think they updated it. Got Unbreathing Horde, two and a black. It enters the battlefield with a 1-1 Contra on it for each zombie you control and each zombie in your graveyard, so this can be massive. If it would be dealt damage, prevent the damage and remove a 1-1 counter from it. So if it's dealt damage, just take a counter off. I got two of these, Diagraph Colossus, two in a black, enters the battlefield with a 1-1 Contra on it for each zombie card in your graveyard. So it's either going to enter as a 2-2 or bigger. Whenever you cast a zombie spell, put a 2-2 black zombie creature token on the battlefield. So it pretty much, you double your zombies. You play uh, Scathe Zombies, you bring a Scathe Zombies and a token. Pretty sweet. Got two of those. Got three. Lord of the Accursed. Great uncommon card. Two and a black for two, three. All other zombies you control get plus one, plus one. One and a black. All zombies gain menace until end of turn. So you can give them menace and more power and toughness. Great stuff right there. Right alongside Death Baron. Got three of these ones. One and two black. Uh, zombie Wizards. Skeletons you control and zombies you control get plus one, plus one and have Death Touch. Uh, that's just awesome. Death Touch and more power and toughness. Got Lord of the Undead. One and two black. All zombies get plus one, plus one. One in a black return target zombie card from your graveyard to your hand. It's a 2-1 that can help bring zombies back. Pretty sweet. 
We got another uh, kind of banner card right here. Cemetery Reaper, one and two black. Other zombie creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Two and a black. Exile target creature card from your graveyard. Put a two, two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. So you can make tokens as well, but also pump up your zombies. Liliana's Reaver, a great card. Really makes them want to block it. Four mana for a four, three. Not too bad. Has death touch. And when it deals combat damage, that player discards a card. And you make a two, two black zombie token tapped on the battlefield. Very cool. I have two of these Noxious Ghoul. I feel like they're just frustrating right here. Five mana for a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever this card or another zombie comes into play, all non-zombie creatures get negative one, negative one until end of turn. Very cool. Even like a token. So like another non, another token zombie comes into play, it still affects it. Very cool. And the last big old card, the most expensive one in here, well, casting cost-wise, is uh, Machias the Unhallowed. Three and three black. Legendary creature, zombie cleric, so the legendary rule applies. Intimidate. Whenever you destroy a human, uh, whenever a human deals damage to you, destroy it. Other non-human creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have dying, undying. So if a creature dies and has no counters on it, return to the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter. So pretty much all your zombies have two lives when that's on the battlefield. Very cool right there. So in all, fun little casual Magic the Gathering deck. Just wanted to put together with you all, show you kind of my thought process and kind of uh, sorting cards and just kind of having a lot of fun with it. Anyways, I hope you all kind of enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. And I just want to say, hope you're all staying safe. Hope you're all doing wonderful. I think I'll put a deck list in the bottom of the video if you're interested. And yeah, I just want to say, keep on keeping on. Stay positive, And I hope you're doing wonderful. And have a beautiful, wonderful day.